I like Barolo Barbaresco and Piemonte wines, but I don't know which ones should I buy. Yes, buying Piemonte wines is not that simple, especially the good producers. Lots of variables like vintage, winemaking, and personal taste. If you're interested in Barolo, Barbaresco, and Piemonte wines, this video will show you where to start. The best bottle from Piemonte to start from is Perbacco from Vietti Winery. Nebbiolo grape, the same grape that you find in Barolo and Barbaresco wines, in its purest and straightforward expression. This bottle will give you a pretty good understanding of the Nebbiolo grape without the structure and the complexity of its elevated versions. Widely distributed, this is a great way to start and a good first bottle to buy. Next two bottles to buy are obviously Barolo and Barbaresco. This is a Barolo by Cavallotto Winery and it's a single vineyard from Bricoboskis. 100% Nebbiolo grape. Also 100% Nebbiolo grape is this Barbaresco by Cadelbaio and it's also a single vineyard that is called Aziri. The difference between the two in terms of location is that this is within the Barolo appellation and this is within the Barbaresca Appellation that has two separate valleys divided by the city of Alba. Compared to the Nebbiolo by Vietti, these are gonna have a lot more to say. There's more complexity, there's more body, there's more structure, and they also have spent more time in oak. Typically large barrels, they both come from a classic winemaking approach, so it's gonna be large botti and not the small French brick. If it's the first time for you drinking Barolo and Barbaresco, there's a good chance these two are gonna blow your mind. Last but not least, Barbera. Do not confuse it with Barbaresco. Barbera is made with Barbera grape. Barbaresco is made with Nebbiolo grape. Braida is from Monferrato, and this is a Barbera Dusty, which is different from Barbera Dalba. There is a whole rivalry between the two, but maybe this is for another video. If it's your first time drinking Barbera, you will find it fruity, rich, smooth, and very easy to like. Thank you so much no, no, for watching. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. There's What's another wrong? one. It's super important. It's less famous, especially in the US, because it's a name that doesn't really work for marketing, but it's Dolcetto. Dolcetto is a very important native grape from Piemonte, which I strongly recommend you try, even if it's your first time drinking Piemonte wines. Compared to the Barbera that Chiara described, it's gonna have less acidity, more structure, more tannin, and it's gonna be pretty fruit, fruit forward, so I think it's gonna be pretty easy to like. It's not sweet. People think it's sweet because it's called Dolcetto, and Dolce reminds you of sweet things. Thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, find these wines, and if you need more, you know where to find us. We have a beautiful wine club that ships our selection of Piemonte wines straight to your door, pretty much worldwide. Here's a link. See you in the next one. It's just, it's one unique.